Hello and welcome to WIT-AM, a daily look at world, national, and regional news and sports, campus events, and weather. I'm Aaron Stokes. The D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals has given the green light for the Trump administration's ban on transgender troops to go into effect. The court on Tuesday officially dissolved a lower court injunction against the ban now set to take effect April 12th. The ban imposes restrictions on military service for those diagnosed with gender dysphoria. The D.C. injunction was the last obstacle to the ban. The LGBT advocate groups say they'll continue to fight the new policy. O'Brien County authorities say, the caller, say a caller informed them about a body floating in the Floyd River in Sheldon Tuesday. Deputies found the dead man near a campus near the campus of Northwest Iowa Community College. Investigators say it looked like the body had been underwater before it was found on the riverside. The victim hasn't been identified, but ha is described as a man in his 30s or 40s. An autopsy will be done by the Iowa State Crime Laboratory in Ankeny. Des Moines police say nobody was injured during a high-speed chase Tuesday, which ended with a crash near an elementary school. The chase itself only lasted about a minute. Police took the driver into custody, but his name hasn't been released. All the action took place just north of Willard Elementary School in Des Moines. The chase started at 3.35 p.m. We'll be right back with a look at your at WIT TV weather and campus events. For a degree in audio engineering, Western Iowa Tech is a place to go. Through the audio program, you'll get to learn from instructors with real-world experience through a combination of hands-on exercises, lecture, and real-world applications. Learn how to operate sound equipment for live events and sound design, such as mixing and editing media. Upon graduation, you'll be ready for the world of audio mixing and production. Get going and visit witcc.edu for more information. Welcome back. In entertainment news, Michael Jackson will remain in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The King of Pop was inducted as a member of the Jackson 5 and as a solo artist. Questions were raised about whether he would get to stay or be booted because of the sexual abuse allegations lodged against him in the Leaving Neverland documentary. Many can Canadian radio stations have stopped playing Jackson's music because of the controversial film, and major companies like Starbucks and Louis Vuitton have also distanced themselves from him. The co-creator of Woodstock is defending the decision to include acts like Jay-Z, Miley Cyrus, and Imagine Dragons in the lineup for the 50th anniversary festival. Michael Lang told TMZ that people complained the lineup was too pop and modern. He said he wanted to attract a younger audience and introduce Woodstock to new generations. Woodstock 50 takes place in Watkins, Watkins Glen, New York, August 16th to the 18th. Taking a look at today's weather, it will be mostly sunny with a high near 72, breezy with a southwest wind and at around 15 to 20 miles per hour with a gust as high as 30 miles per hour. Tonight, it will be partly cloudy with a low around 39, northwest, west northwest winds at around 5 to 15 miles per hour, becoming north after midnight. Tomorrow, it will be partly sunny with a high near 56, north northeast winds around 10 miles per hour. And just a reminder, today is the final day for Just for Success. Get in while you have a chance. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. See you tomorrow.